Hey everyone, welcome back to the Character Blitz series that we're doing here as I seek to improve my gameplay, particularly with Bowser. Now today I am using a bit of a different controller than what I've been using in the past couple of episodes. Uh, it's a wired power line adapter, or a wired power line GameCube style controller. Uh, basically it's mapped out to the same controls as a standard controller, um, or it's Power A, I guess, is the brand on it. And uh, making decent work of this Ike, he's probably going to, I was going to say, throw out a side B there. jumped right into that one. And uh, that's not entirely good. And that's not going to kill. And we're still not at a killing percent there. But this ought to kill. And a uh, nice little zero to death combo there off of the respawn, but he's still getting a decent amount of hits on. And that sword just has an insane amount of reach to it. And uh, right like that, we are back at even percents until he does something like that. Ah. Uh, dang it. Man, Ike is one of the characters that I just struggle against. Stop a uh, bee camping there. Gosh dang it. And this ought to do it for his second stock. Well, not if I can't land on a platform. been the end of my last stock there. Things aren't looking too good for this first match, and uh, we're going to need a near perfect. Nope, but that up smash is going to do it. I really don't like Ike, um, but let's see if we can turn it around in the next match. Gosh, this match isn't starting off much better. And let's do a rush down there. Get some damage onto Ike with the flame breath here. doing bud you threw out like three counters all in a row there ah uh, come on all right stay away from that up smash this ought to do it like to aim for the top platform there, but sometimes you just can't even get back. Up the recovery around his forward air.
and as much damage as I can get on this second stock. Oh, gosh dang it. Tacked right into his. And that'll get more damage on here. Smash there from Ike. That sword's just got so much range on it. Man, that Ike Nair is just not a joke. Forward air will equalize things just well enough. Gotta look to get as much damage in on this stock as I can. And I know that didn't go well for me last time I said that. And I've gotta be careful of my shield for the next little bit here. Because taking a bit more damage on that than I would care to. Ah, jumped right into his up smash there. We've got the percent lead though, so this is already going better than the last game. Get a down tilt. Some more damage on with that fire breath. We should be good off the top platform here, and we are, but it's a best two out of three, so we will be doing another match against Ike here. far so good though ah uh, not quite a zero to death here uh, he just barely made it back but maybe off the top platform that's good Sword's got so much range on it. Get a bit of damage in with the up B out of shield there. Recovering high. Ah, oh, come on. He got a jab combo on me off of the shield drop there. the parry on the up tilt so we'll res or the up air so we'll respond with a neutral air because that's a multi-hit that throw can't uh, recover high like that too frequently so let's recover back to ledge uh, that side B Dang it. Well, 
if we can get a run down here, we should be able to get that second kill, which we do. And now we've just got one stock left to take off of Ike, and we are at a full two stocks. Not gonna get a JV3 on this one though. just about it with the back air there. And this should be it, maybe? I mean, play lame, win games, but three side Bs is uh, better than none. So the next character we'll need to do this best two out of three series with is Pokemon Trainer. And right off the bat here, we're getting a pretty nice advantage as Squirtle can be difficult to fight against as he's so small. But we did decently well, and now we've got... Uh, the quick switch from Ivysaur over to Charizard. Wise on his part as he takes less knockback as he's a heavier character. Not sure I agree with that decision. Actually, I might agree with that decision. Until he gets a down air, which takes his uh, second stock there, or his first one. Get away from me, you plant dinosaur. That was a very interesting... Oh gosh, that grab range is devastating, and that vine whip... Well, you know what I have to say about that? You can eat some fire breath. I'm gonna take a side B. Come on. Yeah, back here didn't quite connect there. If you want to flare billets and give yourself some extra damage, I certainly won't complain about that. And that's not quite an SD. And that was a risky move, especially where it didn't quite take the stock. side being back and forth across this stage. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that's just terrible. Come on. Oh, his forward smash is just terrifying. Gosh dang it. I need to get a stock off this Charizard or we're going to be in a very deep pickle here. This will do it. Now let's see if we can have a near perfect battle of the turtles here. Ah. 
Come on. Come on. Oh gosh, his side B is kind of terrifying. And that was the wrong move for me to make right there at the ledge. This match can go a bit more smoothly. Now, the last time, or last match wasn't especially bad, at least to start off with, but that second stock Charizard just really went to town. Well, it was the Ivysaur that caused me some problems initially. Let's have a battle of the Flame Breaths. Dang it. I thought he was going to bump against the ledge as he was accustomed to last match. Dropped the shield at the exact wrong moment. He's doing the exact same thing he did last game. I mean, if you wanna... What are you doing? I mean, thanks for all the, you know, 40, 50 free percent. Charizard. And that's going to do it for a second stock, which already makes this a better start than the last match. Ivysaur near into up air. That was a nasty combo. I mean, that was especially not effective, but I will take this uh, second match because I desperately needed it. Alright. And this match is not uh, getting as off as near as a smooth start as either of the last two did. might have been your detriment there. Flare Blitz Charizard coming back. Off the top platform, that's going to be enough. And that gives us a really good start as we jump into Squirtle's fully charged back are there. Being above Ivysaur is a bad idea for both his up air and his up B. Flare Blitz Charizard's back. 
Uh, this get up attack caught me off guard there. Just about where we started the last game. But uh, I will take the stock lead where I can get it. Uh, gotta get out from the zone right above that Ivasaur there. the Ivysaur there. Come on. Come on. Oh, Ivysaur, don't do me like this. Come on. I haven't gotten a lick of damage on him. Oh my. Got the shield too early. And I drop a set to the Pokemon trainer, but that happens sometimes. Well, you can't win them all. And uh, that was certainly frustrating. But picked up some pretty good matches against the Ike there and made a run, at the very least, against the Pokemon trainer here. Um, these fights aren't... Uh, all shown sequentially but they are being done sequentially so uh, who knows where I'll be at this point uh, next week when we do the next episode but thanks again for your support don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in the next one take care